So let's take a real quick moment and look at what's going on in the overall market, okay? And so you've got a couple things evolving and developing here. So we've got Bitcoin that in the last, say, 50 hours or so, has uh, you know managed to peak back up to thirty nine thousand one hundred and thirty seven and had a this low of thirty eight three uh, and right now it's trading at thirty eight seven and change really trading flat. This is the number that I'm focusing on. We've got to get closer to that forty thousand and break through that forty thousand uh, dollar you know level, if you will, that resistance. Okay, that's something that we need. If you look at an Ethereum. Kind of similar thing is played out again. Really tight trading range here. Uh, in the last 24 hours, it's reached 2,800 and uh, down to 2,752, and right now trading at 2,792. Okay, again, trading really flat, and that's really the overriding message: is that the market really has uh, no bullish momentum, really, and no bearish momentum. And this is something that uh, it's a situation that it's really kind of felt outside of yesterday. Yesterday we had a nice move up, you know. Um, uh, Ethereum itself picked up about 9% yesterday uh, and out, definitely outpaced Bitcoin. So I'm focusing on Bitcoin and Ethereum right now to, to remind you and, and, and that they really do drive the market. You know, at uh, about um, making up over one trillion of the overall market cap. So they're more than 55, almost, you know, 55 ish plus percent of the overall market cap. You need to always be aware of Bitcoin and Ethereum. And the other, the other altcoins have really been kind of in a similar place. So, you you know, you've got Solana though in the last seven days has done really pretty well at a 16.5% gain over the last seven days. But you can even see right now in the last 24 hours, it's really not doing a lot. There is not a lot of momentum really in anything. Polka dot similar, 4.8, uh, you know, 10.9 in the last seven days respectively. Avalanche in the last seven days, 7.9. You can see kind of a trend. You can see, and again, you can really just look at the chart action here on um, CoinGecko or whatever site you use. But I always keep an eye on the charts, and the charts always, again, re really do truly follow Bitcoin and Ethereum, kind of where they go, the rest shall follow. And I think that this is kind of the state of the union of where we're going to be for a while, guys. Um, I think we've got a lot of uncertainty out there in the market. For example, when the Federal Reserve had their meeting a week or so ago, they basically pushed the decision to March to when the, to if they're going to raise interest rates. We all know they're going to raise interest rates, but what happened there is by not actually raising interest rates in the meeting two weeks ago and saying, "Hey, we're going to wait until March," what they created was uncertainty. Okay, in the in in the entire and all of the financial markets, including crypto, because it's all intertwined. Okay, the stock market, the equity markets, the finance markets are all in, and crypto market are all are all intertwined in one way, fashion or the other. All right. So the so my point to you is this: is that there's a lot of uncertainty in the overall markets, and when there is uncertainty, there is no strong, clear direction. Stated another way, when there is uncertainty, you're not going to have really nice, big, huge green runs, or you know, you're not going to have a lot of you know major downtrend. You're just going to be kind of in this in this kind of sideways scenario for a little while, okay? And uncertainty is not good for the financial markets, and that's really what we have right now is uncertainty. Um, now, the Federal Reserve, the Fed, and raising interest rates not the only thing out there. Um, but it's kind of the main thing that really is is in the picture right now, and I think we're going to continue to be impacted by that for you know for the next four or five weeks. Now, does that mean that we're not going to go up or go down? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just simply saying it's a it is a part of the puzzle that you need to be aware of, and I think we will have continuing you know we will have we'll obviously have continuing different action on different days, of course, but the key for me, is Bitcoin and Ethereum. We've got to get Ethereum back over 3,000, heading towards 4,000. We've got to get Bitcoin back over 40,000 and moving up to drive the overall market conditions in a positive momentum scenario. And until that happens, nothing else will transpire. Everything else, all of their altcoins will be flat. They will simply not be doing anything. Keep your eye on those two, Bitcoin and Ethereum. And... Uh, the rest shall follow. As always, I appreciate you. Take it easy. Thank you. Go make some money. I'll see you.